Okay, why is this election actually important? And why is it important that you vote? And it has absolutely nothing to do with Joe Biden or Donald Trump. Republicans and Democrats have been in control for as long as any of us can remember, for literally forever, and nothing's changed. Uh, the people who are currently in power have been in power for mm, roughly 50 years, and they're not doing anything to actually change anything. The only thing that they've done is ensure that they continue to pad their own pockets and keep themselves in power while keeping all of us down. The reason this election is important is because this is a time and an opportunity to get a third party candidate actually recognized. Uh, for the Libertarian Party, if, if we can achieve 5% of the vote, then that means in 2024, whoever the Libertarian candidate is, they are guaranteed ballot access in all 50 states. Joe Jorgensen got ballot access in all 50 states this year, and it required basically fighting for that. Uh, there were lawsuits involved, there were petitions required, uh, like big fees that had to be paid, all these loopholes and uh, hoops to jump through just to make sure that she could actually have ballot access on all 50 states. And even with that being said, like uh, I believe Tennessee won't, because the the bar is set so outlandishly high for what you have to do to have your party affiliation included with your name on the ballot. She's actually an independent in Tennessee, not a libertarian in Tennessee. Like, <clears throat> in order to get ballot access, it's crazy. But if the libertarian candidate, Joe Jorgensen, can get 5% of the vote in this election cycle, then in 2024, it is guaranteed ballot access in all 50 states. No BS to, or hoops to jump through ballot access, 100%, all 50 states. Also, that guarantees that whoever the Libertarian Party candidate is in 2024, they're guaranteed a spot on the stage in the debates when it comes that time. So instead of getting to watch Joe Biden and Donald Trump uh, sling mud at each other and just stand up there and bicker like a couple of senile old dudes, you can actually have a third party candidate who would speak towards what you want and what your principles and values are guaranteed on the stage. The reason that the third party candidates can't get on the stage right now is because there is this ridiculous bar that's set again, kind of like with ballot access, that it's impossible to crack into. Uh, there are all these polls that are done by different uh, media corporations and whatnot that you have to poll at a 15% uh, rate to get included in the debates. The problem with the polls is they don't actually include any third party candidates. So Joe Jorgensen, uh, the Green Party candidate, none of these, they're not even on the poll. In 2016, Gary Johnson was included on the poll and as he started to trend up towards the 12, 13%, where he was getting close to hitting that 15% that would have gotten him put on the stage, they dropped him off the polls. And there was only one poll that kept him on. And that poll changed its polling demographics to go away from the base that had been the most strongly in support of him so that it skewed his numbers back down. Like everything about the system is corrupt and it's all set up to keep you dependent on the two primary parties. And we've talked about that before, like they are the same thing. It is two sides of the same coin. Uh, who was it that said, you know, the left wing and the right wing are still the same bird? It's, they are all the exact same. They just pretend to be different and bicker and fight in public so that you don't see that they are the ones who are controlling and pulling the strings on everything. And this year is the prime example. If you're on my friends list, Odds are you live in Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, maybe Arkansas. You are in a super red state. Your state is so red that neither candidate is even bothering to campaign in your state. I saw a uh, Amy McGrath commercial the other day where the guy that they had on the commercial said, I'm voting for Trump. But I don't like Mitch McConnell, so I'm voting for Amy McGrath. Like, even the Democratic Senate candidate in Kentucky admits it's a red state. <laughs> They're just trying to get you to vote for the Democrat for senator. Like, <laughs> they don't care about you. This is the year. Vote for the Libertarian. Actually, 
go and look at what libertarian values and principles are. Ask me questions. I'll answer anything you've got. And I'll answer it honestly. I, I mean, I wish we could get politicians that answered questions straight up and honestly. At least for, if nothing else, Donald Trump is brutally honest. It's uh, ridiculous and stupid the things he says sometimes. And he says things wrong sometimes, but it's not saying things wrong out of dishonesty. It's saying things wrong out of ignorance. And there's a big difference that the left can't seem to understand. Anyway, never mind. I'm trailing off. Find out what the Libertarian Party stands for. Find out who the affiliates in your area are that are associated with the Libertarian Party. Start learning about it. Uh, it's the party of principle. Like, we're so principled, the party can't even get along with itself. <laughs> People stand for what they believe in and butt heads over it constantly. The party is constantly in flux because the party itself draws from such a diverse group, from both the right and the left and the middle of people who are disenfranchised and have just seen through the duopoly and understand that Republicans, Republicans and Democrats have no interest in helping human being, other human beings. They only have interest in helping themselves and furthering their own power and ensuring that nothing stands in the way of that power, which is why you see the, the polls that don't even include third-party candidates because as soon as we start getting recognition, they know that it's going to crumble on them. So they're not even going to let third-party candidates play at all. It's a rigged system, it's a rigged game, and it's time to step up, make a vote, and show them that we're done being screwed out of getting to play this game. I think that's all I got today. Hopefully, these videos are at least somewhat informative. Uh, you find out stuff that you didn't know about the Libertarian Party or something like that. And please, if you got questions about anything, put it in the comment section. Let me know. Uh, there are resources available for all of this stuff. I can get you whatever you want. If you, if you need to know where some candidate stands on some issue, say so. It's the information age. The highest crime should be to be uninformed. So let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you want to hear me talk about next time because I'm kind of getting to where I enjoy doing these and uh, they're sort of fun. I'm, I don't know if anybody even watches them, but I don't care. I'm not doing this for uh, likes or shares. I'm doing it because somebody's bound to hear it and somebody needs to know about what the Libertarian Party is all about and step away from the corrupt duopoly that is running us all into the ground and running this country very, very quickly into the ground. Happy Monday, everybody. Have a good day.